Today, we're hiking Norway's most dangerous mountain. But there's a catch. We're doing it in a fog storm. How do you feel about it, John? No. <laughs> That's a huge no. We start our adventure off in Lysbotten camping, packing down our camp and head to the local community stores to stack up on some rations. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to head up to Chevy Bolton, so let's get up to the parking. I'll see you up there. Is that what I think it is, John? Yeah, I had to get a cup of coffee and damn, that lady selling the coffee, she was really cute. She hurt her hand trying to pour me coffee and I said, are you all right? And then she said, Yes. And then you were happy ever and after. And we were happy ever after. Damn, that's how every adventure starts. And now we're about to go on this adventure. Oh yeah. Got, oh got yeah. Everything packed. Oh, I got packed. everything packed. I'm so ready, stoked as. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna be too bad. It's uh, five kilometers each way. Like I, of course, I've, I've heard that it's actually pretty <laughs> heavy for in those five kilometers, but we're gonna make the most out of it. Let's see if we can make it in five hours. We sure as hell can. I bet that number is just for retired old people. Yeah. We can probably do it. <laughs> it's like, we're not tired old people. We can do this. <laughs> I didn't imagine it was going to be this foggy, but cool thing is, I think it adds to, to the effect actually. Yeah, and the nice thing about fog is that you get free drinks that just hovers in there. You can just yeah. open your mouth and just, just eat some fog. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> you look like such a hipster now with your coffee. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm a mountain hiking hipster. Yeah. Ooh, I'm stuff. feeling it already. <laughs> this reminds me, it's important to work out. Thing, what do you call it? Metal rope. I forgot the name. I'm so tired. It's so freaking cool with the fog all around. Wow. <laughs> you find it demotivating the fact that we have to go all the way down into the valley and all the way back up there again a little bit but uh, the valley looks nice oh look there's the people camping down there interesting way of walking John Indeed. this uh, type of road inspires this type of walking oh yeah it's very adventurous yes I'm looking ahead Ooh. it doesn't look too good nope <laughs> Yep, gonna need some uh, mental preparation for this one. If you ever thought you were fit, try this place. <laughs> it's amazing. We were starting to get a little bit worried about the increasing fog as our visibility was getting low. It must be the promised land. Isn't it? Uh, We've been walking for oh my God. so many days. Uh, we're almost there. So if you were ever wondering if you're gonna find your way or if you're gonna get lost. I mean, right now is not probably not the best example because there's a lot of fog. But if you look around, you're gonna find these red teeth everywhere and you're gonna find John. Yeah, I'll be here. Oh damn, John. Only 3.3 kilometers left. Oh yeah. How long is that, by the way? Well, depends on us. Yeah, <laughs> it's very much depends on us. 300 meters, so you can imagine it's like... Oh, not that long then. Yeah. Damn, that's not long at all. <laughs> that's not long at all. The metric system, man. Yeah. I love it. Oh my god. Yep, you can start feeling the wind picking up. This is definitely in the edge. Yes, I can see the rock right there. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go there. No? What about you? Um, Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna consider it. That's insane. <laughs> How do you feel about it, John? No. Nope. <laughs> That's a huge nope. A huge nope. Yeah. Certified nope. Indeed. <laughs> That's a long way down, John. Alright, gonna show you how to enter it. Wow. That's how you do it. Woo! Crazy bastard. It's a good thing we have this hook right here. Okay, that's enough. 
<laughs> was it you? Ooh. Yep. <laughs> it started out confident and then became. <laughs> that was exhilarating. <laughs> I can imagine. I went out kind of confident, and then at the at the end, I started to shake more and more as I as my view as my eyes started to like wander a little bit down. Like okay. you realized what you were doing. Yeah, and it's a <laughs> stupid thing to do, and that's why you should do it too. John, all in all, how nervous were you when I was on the rock? Well, maybe a five out of ten. Five out of ten. I, it would have been an eight out of ten if I was the one on the rock. But when it's someone else, I'm not that worried. But I'm still kind of worried. You know, <laughs> still it would kind of suck just having would, to tell. Uh, maybe a six out of ten then. Okay, six out of ten. Yeah, yeah fair enough. And you're not hiking to the west of Norway without encountering some sheep. That's a fat ass sheep, John. Bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you seeing the same as me? I hope I am, because if not, then maybe I'm about to pass out. My legs are decently tired right now. Mine are sleeping, I think. I don't even know how I'm walking right now. <laughs> oh. But oh my god! There's the car! The car! Oh, oh, oh. It's right oh. there. Oh yeah. Yes! Ah, the car. So let's head back to the camping and see how Elias is doing. <laughs> this signifies the end of the journey. It means I've been talking too much and I've been <laughs> too annoying. So it's sit the fuck back down here. All journeys comes to an end. And that ends with John driving. Oh yeah. <laughs> Until I fall asleep. Yes.